Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So, you probably have Wi-Fi, and if you don't, the chances of Wi-Fi signals bouncing off you or potentially going through you are pretty high. Uh, I don't know if that's doing any damage to your system at all. Uh, that really kind of remains to be seen. We'll probably find out 50 years from now that Wi-Fi, you know, makes us all stupid, in which case I would wonder what's going on right now. So, uh, we wrote an article on LockerGnome.com that's covering a, a new, uh, I guess, spectrum for Wi-Fi that can help some people who haven't had access to, I guess, uh, a better connection. And that's really the, uh, the easiest way to say it. So let's go ahead, click the link in the description on the show notes. Uh, white space Wi-Fi coming right now to Wilmington, North Carolina. Check it out. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, tweet it, like it on Facebook. Hopefully you will as well. The idea of, uh, you know, expanding uh, the spectrum for Wi-Fi is it's a good one. I mean, who wouldn't want to have more spectrum by which you could connect to the internet wirelessly, or really uh, any network that's uh, using Wi-Fi, it's not just for the internet. And we have this spectrum now that was traditionally being used by television providers, local providers, and now they, they can't. They can't send out an analog signals. But we have all this white space now. And so it was proposed to the FCC that we could reuse this white space uh, to uh, you know, basically improve the current system of Wi-Fi. And the, the changes now are really going to impact those who live, and as quoted in the article, on the fringe of a faster internet, uh, you know, because they live not in the middle of a city, they live on the edge of a town. And by opening up this part of the spectrum, it may help them get a better connection to the wireless internet. And this, by and large, despite what uh, may go wrong with things, if it's not being used, because television... Uh, service providers say, no, we think that it's going to be disruptive. Don't exactly know how that works. I doubt it is that way. You know, you know television executives. <whistles> so uh, the idea of opening up this part of the spectrum was passed to the FCC, and they are moving forward with it tentatively. Uh, you know, I think, is, did I say that word right? Tentatively. I always, hang on, let me, let me fact check. Tentatively. Yeah. Because it hasn't been fully worked out. I said that right. It's amazing when an English major actually uses a word correctly. <clears throat> Thank God I didn't have to go down to the library to look it up. So uh, this is a good thing, by and large. And you should read about why this would be good to come to your town, especially if you live on the fringe. Although I think most of the people who watch the videos that we do on YouTube, even my parents, uh, you know, they have a decent internet connection, but it could be better, right? Wirelessly, it, it could be better, I would imagine. Uh, this is just one way. So read up about white noise. We've uh, really explained everything uh, that you might need to know about it in the article that you can click and read and share if you like it with the rest of your community. The buttons for social sharing are on every page on lockergnome.com and they're on this video page as well. See, under the share button, check it out.